check engine lights on. 101,000 miles. You can hear the squeaking real bad. It's a front, front left. But the uh, flex plates, they go and they come because they find their location and they're happy. So right now, you don't hear them. And it comes from the center console right here. And it's the front one that's bad. So we're going to change that. But as you can see right there, that's the clocking that you see here in the back. And that one's wet. So that means it's got a little bit of uh, some play in there. The other side is the same way. They're cracked and wet. And that one up there as well. This is the rear. And the ones we're going to change are these right here, which are dry rotted. That's the clacking you hear when you turn. So these will be these will be taken off. This is the rear. This is your rear axle right here. Uh, we're going to go from here to the front and remove these to put the... Uh, so now we work our way to the front. And as you can see, there's the other flex plate in there. That one that you see with the blue bolts on. But as you can see, there's wet so you have some sort of a leak up in the front uh, what it is or where it's coming from we have to clean the car wash it up or look up to the, all the way up to see where it's coming from but uh, I do know that the driver's side was squeaking when I was driving over here I made a video on that so but yes those two are gonna get changed so I gotta remove all this cross member stuff and uh, pull this these out and change them out. All right, buddy. As you can see, you have a rear main seal leak as well right here. Um, we did not discuss anything about that, but as always, this is the time to do it because I would have to take all this off again, okay? So, that's nothing to do with that leak over there. See, it's it's coming right here. It doesn't cross that, so it is leaking. Um, I know you need your car, so I'm gonna continue with what we agreed on, and uh, we go from there. All right, so here's the front one removed. It's dry rotted. Well, wears out is these bushings as well. So now the bolt does a little dance in there. So we're gonna replace it. We got the front one and the rear one new. This is the front one being uh, removed already. It is removed. Like so. So on to the rear, replace this one, move on to the rear. All right, so they're both out. We got, this is your rear. We marked it on there. It's dry rotted, cracking already. So this one's out. The front is the same way. You can see the oblong holes where they're not round anymore, if you pay attention. See that right there? It's oval, it's not round. So that's where your clacking starts at. You can see that one as well. So, but to me, they're OEM because they have the Mercedes label on it. So they're as old as the car. And the problem with these is it's a rubber piece. You know, that engineering factor. You know, it's, uh, I guess, economical for them. Cheap fast I don't know what it is but this is what they use and they were out you can see them right there see it's all blown so when it's spinning the bolt is free so you'll click 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 while it's turning 
some of them tear, literally, they tear. And then it makes a bigger mess. It tears up uh, your whole undercarriage, because it, now your uh, rear drive shaft will just tear up whatever's in its way. But, these have been replaced, new ones are on already. Uh, next step is just to torque them, and it's a done deal. So there we have it. Using a trusty snap on 55 pounds for those bolts on the uh, transmission mount and uh, torque bit. And a uh, wrench to hold the nut side. And there she is all put back together 55 pounds all the bolts are there bracket bolts cross member bolt it's all there now we go to the rear and finish this thing up. all right so the car's up and running it's out of the bay took it around the block sounds good moves so now we're gonna throw a little scan. So if you have that check engine light on, we're gonna see what it does. Or what's, what's the issue, just so you can have an idea of what's going on. Right. So here we go. Go home. Diagnose. Okay. And that's your VIN number. So that's that's this car here. All right. So we press OK. All right. What's going on here? Okay, so this is the report from this car. That's your VIN number right there. So we have, let's see what we have. Abnormal engine control module. Okay, the abnormal on that. Quantity control valve has a malfunction. The command positive. No, the command position cannot be reached. Okay, that's one. So that's stored in the ECU. So that's been there for a while. Uh, communication module, telematics, service, emergency, GPS antenna. You know that. Those are the codes right there, the numbers. Okay, um, what else? This one right here. Communication with the backup camera has a malfunction. What else? Um, okay. Normalization of up, down, steering column adjustment. Calibration is missing. Okay. What else? Last one. DTC output. For the mirror heater has a malfunction okay so that's what you have this is for you right there i'm gonna send you the vid